Hi there, I'm Don Dawson. Today we're going to discuss an electrifying topic and learn how to avoid shocking experiences. When we discuss electricity, there are a number of terms we need to be familiar with. Current, volts, amperes, and watts are the most important. Current is the intensity of electricity and is measured in amperes or amps. Most household and industrial electric wiring carries 15 to 20 amps. The thicker the wires, the more current they can usually hold. It's important to remember that it's amps that deliver electric shocks. And it doesn't take many amps to cause a serious injury. In fact, contact with the amount of electricity that's needed to power just a Christmas tree bulb can be fatal if it passes through your heart. Volts are another term we hear a lot. They measure the force behind the current that's flowing. In North America, most power tools and household appliances run on 120 volts. But some specialized and heavy-duty equipment that requires extra power often runs on 220 or more volts. Like amps, the higher the voltage, the greater the danger. Watts are a third term that's frequently encountered when we discuss electricity. Watts can be thought of as the combination of amps and voltage. You can determine how many amps something uses by dividing its wattage rating by the voltage in the electrical system it's running on. For instance, if your home has a 120 volt electrical system, a 120 watt light bulb uses one amp of power. 120 watts divided by 120 volts. A 60 watt bulb uses only half an amp. A 1200 watt hair dryer would use 10 amps, which explains why the lights sometimes go dim when someone turns a hair dryer on. 